order to diagnose pain, uh, we need to see the patient for a complete assessment, for a consultation. It's not enough to just look at, an, at a radiograph. It's crucially important to listen to what the patient has to say, to what they feel, their chief complaint, and ask questions accordingly. After this, we would run through the dental history to understand if we can get some clues, uh, as it's usually a continuous process and not just something that happened all of a sudden. We would then do a very thorough clinical examination um, and additionally we would take x-rays. Uh, it can be several x-rays from different angles, different types of x-rays and even sometimes we may need a three-dimensional x-ray which is a CT scan. After we have all the information we, we take all that and formulate a diagnosis or several diagnoses, so a differential diagnosis. Um, and we would sit with the patient and explain the findings, explain what the diagnosis means and what can be done, what are the treatment options. It's also a good time for the patient to ask all the questions and usually patients at the end of the consultation would not only have a clear diagnosis, but also have the understanding of what needs to be done and what are the recommendations.